Hello, Paul Hamilton here from UTB. We're going to create these information spheres. So um, a little way of users interacting with the artwork that you've created in Procreate. They basically hit on these little spheres and it shows up these information boards. Great way of not over polluting the visuals that you've just got one thing to tap on. So let's get started. We're going to basically in a minute create a brand new Reality Composer project file. Um, that's what it's going to end up looking like. It's going to be great. Um, so why don't we jump into it? A really great way of showing information on the artwork that you've just used. So we're going to go to Reality Composer, create new. We're going to create a horizontal surface. And in a minute, hopefully in will pop our surfboard. We're going to import. And if you haven't been through the Procreate tutorials, have a look at them. We're going to import our Procreate surfboard indigenous artwork. Uh, so I'm going to search for it. Hopefully I've named it correctly so that I can bring it in. It'll be a USDZ file. And there it is there. We're going to pop that one in. It's going to import into our project and then we're going to tap in. And it should pop in beautifully. Quite to scale. That's looking really good. A little bit over a meter tall. And why don't we get started with our information spheres? So we're going to go up to the top and go to our plus. We're going to create our content first. So we'll create this sphere. Um, I'll tap on it and I'll drag it up to the top. And I might make it terracotta material, so it'll go with that natural indigenous theme. And then what we're going to do is also create our sign. So we'll create both digital assets first. So I'll go up to the top here um, and we'll create our sign. Now, just underneath the basic shapes, there are some signs that we can customize. So we'll go with the second one. And then in our properties panel on the right here, we're able to customize that look. So what we might do is we might start by getting rid of that little hanging piece at the top there, make it just the sign. We might play around with the colors and, and select some boards that are going to be, um, that will suit the color palette that we've actually got here with our indigenous surfboard. Um, so we'll just have a play. That looks pretty good. We might go with that. We can also customize the shape so we can put the text in. Um, let's just put something generic in, like this is where the information sign is going to go, or this is an information sign, just so that you can see. So you can actually put the text in or onto the sign. And then you can also play around with the width and the scale of the sign. So you can actually say, hey, I want this to be a little bit kind of wider, and then I can scale it down at the top. So once you've got your dimensions proportions properly, then you can kind of drag that sign around. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that that sign comes in front of your surfboard like that so you can see it. And that's looking pretty good. So we've got both our sphere and our sign. And what we're going to do is we're going to create two behaviors, one to hide the sign and one to tap the sphere and for the sign to appear. So let's go up to our properties, our behavior, sorry. And we're going to, first one, we're going to go with a start hidden. And that's going to be a simple case of being able to select the sign. So go to choose in your action sequence, select your sign and press done. And it's as simple as that. And we're going to press done at the top. We can do the timing of it. Ours is going to be zero. We want it to start straight away. And if we press play at the top, you can see that the sign is hidden, which is fantastic. But when we tap on the sphere, we want it to appear. So what we're actually going to do here is we're going to go down the bottom again. We're going to create a new behavior. Or actually, we might name that one first. So I'm going to do a long press on the name and rename it. It's always good to name your behaviors. So if you get any little bugs or errors, you can kind of identify where they might be. And then we're going to go with a brand new behavior. So on the left-hand side, we're going to go over to our plus and we'll go down to a custom one. So this time we're going to go right down the bottom and do custom. And where basically the trigger is going to be a tap. We need to select the sphere. So here we're going to select the sphere and press done. So it's going to be tapping the sphere. And then for the action, it's just a, a case of show. So we're actually going to show the sign. Now, it'll come up with the sphere as default. So press choose, deselect the sphere, and make sure you select your sign. Now, you can choose how long it takes to come up. Mine's going to be in a, a second. Press done. Yeah, we'll leave that a second. Press done, press play at the top. And now when we tap our sphere in a second, let's go over and tap our sphere. It's going to come up with that information board, which is cool. It's a great way of not over um, polluting your scene. Um, we might rename that. So I'm going to do a long press and name that behavior as well. It's just a great way of of keeping your AR scene nice and clean and crisp. And so the person can interact. So if I press play there, up it comes, 
oh, that looks brilliant. And you can do multiple signs. You can have multiple signs appearing. We're going to go to our three dots. We're going to go to export. And we're going to export this as a USDZ file so that anyone can see it on any Apple device, mobile device. You don't need Reality Composer to open up this scene, which is pretty cool. I'm going to name it. I'm going to export it. There's a couple of things we need to do. We need to press done and save again and save. And there you have it. We have just exported an interactive info sign for our indigenous surfboard. Now you want to just go into your files app just quickly and just go to your recent or on iPad and make sure that it's popped up there. So make sure that's the file you're going to share with family, friends, the school, the community, and they'll be able to interact with your amazing Procreate surfboard or whatever the object might be. Super easy to do and just a great way of getting users to interact with your digital products in augmented reality. Paul Hamilton here from Using Technology Better.